I'm gonna do three different games using three different passing types. I mean, this is all mad. It felt like the game was on rookie. And we're getting an underthrown ball here, Bam. which got intercepted once again, as at least we should be able to dot that up. Okay, thank you. What? That was a bullet pass. That was so slow. We're gonna try that running back. Dude, he just dropped it. So we'll take this outside throw. What? This is terrible. He was wide open. This is not a coincidence. I'm five for 21. There's no coincidences in life. This passing mode sucks. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Teams. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a different type of video for you guys today. Today, we're doing an experiment to try to figure out what's the best passing type to use in Madden 24. If you guys just picked up Madden 24 and you started playing recently, you might have realized, even if you played last year, that the passing feels really different. Even if you use the same settings that you used last year, it just feels a lot touchier, and a lot of people would argue that it feels broken. This is probably one of the most debated things in my comments. What's the best passing type to use in Madden 24? Because a lot of people are really struggling. Typically, I try to give you guys videos of my opinions and I do a lot of research on them before I give them to you but even this one here kind of has me stumped as I recently did a video breaking down the three different passing types and even in that video the results were really surprising to the point where I really wanted to do a longer video to try to figure this out because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are playing this game right now that would really like to know if this video works out I could do more videos like this so if you guys want to see more Madden experiments to try to figure out what's the best settings to use whether it's coaching adjustments or other things of that nature hit the like button let me know in the comments section other than that, if you want to subscribe, like I said, I do plan on doing more videos like this, so please hit the subscribe button, and let's get right into the video. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to give you guys my setup. I typically have this on what's basically the default setting. I've messed with a lot of different stuff, but sometimes I switch this to far, sometimes I use near, sometimes I use just regular placement, and I still haven't figured out which one's the best one. I also changed my freeform reticle speed quite a bit, but I typically find that the default setting of five is best. I'm going to do three different games using three different passing types. I'm going to use one for classic, one for placement, and one for placement and accuracy, and then at the end, we're going to look at the results. We're going to look at the stats from all three games. I'm going to see which one had the most yards, which one had the highest completion percentage, and then which one had the best touchdown interception ratio. My personal guess is going to be placement and accuracy because it's the one I use the most, and it's the one that they suggest gives you the most control, which me being an experienced Madden player should benefit me. So for the control for this experiment, I'm going to do the exact same game three times. I'm going to use my Philadelphia Eagles. I'm also going to use my favorite offense because it's going to be random plays, and I want to use the offense that I'm most familiar with. So I'm going to use my gun stack wide flex offense out of my new orleans saints offensive ebook links in the description if you guys want to figure out how to run that i've also made breakdowns of that i'll have a link in the description for that as well but i'm going to go against what's probably the best passing secondary in the game and they have two superstar cornerbacks so there's really no excuses i'm also going to be on all madden throughout all of them so like i said everything's going to be the exact same every single time but i'm going to be using the gun stack wide flex offense this is my offense i'm going to set up the exact same way that i do in gameplay i'm going to run it the exact same way because i'm not really here to like force a bunch of deep balls or anything like that i just want to basically read the defense like i normally would and play this game exactly like i normally would the only thing that i am changing is i don't actually plan on running the ball at all so i'll have four passing plays in my audibles i probably will try to throw the ball deep as much as possible and try to score as much as possible because that's really the goal so here we go one more time so yeah definitely didn't do it right but that's fine because we're gonna get a catch right out the gate the goal is to score a bunch of times not just um you know not just take safe passes so I could get a high completion percentage. So right at the gate, we're two for two. Uh, this one here, I don't even know. I think I'm in uh, classic. I don't remember which one I chose. Yeah, we have another. Uh, this one here is kind of a bad throw, but we're, we're mossing the computer right now. I hear a lot of people complaining it's hard to beat the computer on all Madden, but at the moment, it's not necessarily feeling that way if I'm, as I'm three for three. My goal is really to try to score every single time. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that here. So the one play touchdown is not necessarily going to work. There, I definitely couldn't pass lead that up the way that I wanted to. That would have been nice. Oh, we got that RB route. We got that RB route. So that wasn't the plan, but it is now as we're about to score another touchdown. The late Vander is, is like, he was right there the whole time. Although that Y route looks gone. I don't know what happened there. Uh, the throw was like way underneath anyway, and he doesn't catch it because it was out of range lob pass, which is terrible. He was wide open. The A route should get open. And like I said, short to intermediate passes feels fine. Deep passing so far, it feels a little bit touchy. Hit or miss. Like I said, this is something that should work. So far, so good. I mean, I'm not really sure. I think I've scored on every possession, which I kind of expect if I'm being honest. I don't really think that I'm ever going to get stopped. We're going to try the fade out one more time. Or the uh, PA read one more time. It looks like we're going to have it too. 
as this is, I mean, this is all Madden. Like this is, <laughs> this is all Madden. The wide open one play touchdowns are happening very easily. Let's go and let's take a look at the stats. No interceptions. I don't really expect to throw any interceptions if I had to guess, but five touchdowns, no interceptions, 434. And like I said, completion percentage of a 48, which uh, was a lot lower than I expected, but I was pushing the ball down the field a lot, which might be why, because I do think that uh, classic passing is going to have the most issue pushing the ball down the field, but that's just how I run my offense. So let's go and let's try the next one. The exact same everything, uh, same team, same offense, same everything. The only thing we're going to change this time is we're going to go to placements. A little bit more conservative because I do just want to get the first down. Uh, as you can see, placement, I definitely feel better having the option of where I want to put that ball in that circle. And I'm thinking about just waiting for this running back because that's going to be like real easy. Although he's all over that. <laughs> Perfect accuracy. Ugh. One for four to start. Not great. We're going to try a uh, pretty difficult one play tutty here. Although it's looking like zero. Or it's looking like uh, uh, cover one. My bad. As we do get that catch. Like that play, you really need good accuracy. And I got that there. I didn't nail that on any other, um, you know, classic. I couldn't nail that throw. As the running back was the plan. And it almost worked. But we throw our first interception. That was our first pick. But it was kind of an experimental play. And classic was really easy with cover one. Because you don't really have to do much other than just like, you know, lob the ball. And that's there. That's an underthrown ball. Look at that. Another interception and placement. Placement. Two interceptions. Classic zero. All right. Well, this one should be easy. We got an obvious cover zero here. Or maybe a cover one, depending on what that safety does. But uh, this ought to pad my stats, I would think. As long as... I mean, that's the thing. You see how just lobbing that is like so short in the bubble. This is the bigger issue I think people are having. Is the underthrown balls. Like this year, I lobbed that to space. He should not have to come back and get that ball. You know what I mean? Like, I know I have to freeform, but why? Like, I'm pass leading up. That should be enough to get to the edge of that cat circle. And that actually cost me a touchdown because I ran out of time. I wasn't even paying attention. So, yeah, big issue, man. Placement, I'm not sure about this. Like, if I could get it, like, the running back should be... Look at that. Why is that lob going to the center of the circle? I think I would have had a touchdown if I was using Classic. Look at that. Look how behind that throw is. Out of range. I mean, I get it, but damn, that's crazy. So, got to cover zero here. Obvious cover zero. If I can't score here, there's something wrong. Look at that. See how it's to the center? Like, classic, like that. There's something wrong with this, man. You have to throw it quick. Like, you don't have a lot of time to pass lead in a pass lob because you're just tapping the button. Police and percentage was exactly the same. Our yards was less. Our touchdowns was less and our interceptions was way more. I hope that this is not the case for the next one. Last passing type I'm gonna use is gonna be placement and accuracy. And we're getting an underthrown ball here, which got intercepted once again. That was under pressure, but I just, I wasn't having that problem with classic. I don't know what to tell you. And every fucking time I, I every time I switch the field, I can't hike the ball. Like how broken is a game that you can't even fucking hit the high, you can't even hike the fucking ball. So we're just gonna have to take our chances with the B route. As he will get open, I guess, but he, oh, look at that. That was a horrible accuracy. I didn't even freeform that. All right, so now the passing accuracy that I use all the time that I don't really remember having this much problem using is got me down. I'm like down here. Classic was like easy mode. Like, I don't know what's going on. I don't even know what happened there. He's wide open in a flat. I just got to take that. I'm going to try to run for a touchdown here because nothing else is working. All right, so we're still going to try to hit the running back and we might have it. All right, we safe caught that and he knocked it out. Are you serious? We're just trying to get this first. As at least we should be able to dot that up. Okay, thank you. What? That was a bullet pass. That was so slow. All right, we got cover one. We're going to try that running back. Yep. And, oh, he dropped it. What the? Dude, he just dropped it. Ah, uh, horrible accuracy. I'm surprised that wasn't intercepted. Turn up. Come on now. Let's go. We're going to get a touchdown. So we'll take this outside throw. Nope. I. He didn't catch that. He didn't catch that. I've been doing that all game, all three games. This is just devolved. Like the only thing I can complete, I can't even complete the running back. I mean, I get it, there's a little pressure, I get it. There's a, there, This is not a coincidence. I'm five for 21. There's no coincidences in life. This passing mode sucks. Give me that, let's go. All right, we just went a little opposite here, a little different way. At least we're gonna pad our stats a little bit, but at the end of the day, this is not looking good for uh, placement and accuracy. Don't know what defense we're looking at here. Don't really care. I'm so happy to be done with this video at this point as we have another cover one. But at least I'm going to end it on a touchdown. 
as I could leave that circle. I don't know. I like being able to leave that circle. I'm just thinking that placement might be the way to go. Let's take a look at the final stats. So that was a doozy uh, for placement and accuracy. We have only seven completions. Lowest completion percentage by far. Every, the other ones were the same. 28 completion percentage. Uh, we also have three touchdowns, which was the least and the least amount of yards. Honestly, there really is no comparing to uh, Classic. Classic, I beat every, everything. Everything won. It won at the highest completion percentage, although it tied with placement and accuracy. It also had the most touchdowns and the most yards and the best touchdown interception ratio, where placement and accuracy had the, it was tied for first with completion percentage, but it also had uh, the most interceptions with three. So it had the worst touchdown interception ratio. I'm surprised to say it, but, uh, but Classic won. Uh, it won easily. Uh, it was so. It was like the game was on. On like, what's the lowest setting? Rookie. It felt like the game was on rookie when I was playing with uh, with 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 regular classic. So you know, take this information for how you will. I think I'm definitely going to try out placement more often. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, uh, make sure to be a subscriber, hit like button, let me know in the comment section. As I, it was definitely, I learned something. I, it's something that I really was questioning myself, and I'm hoping you guys learned something too. So if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to be a subscriber, hit like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I'll have some videos popping up from other things I did similar to this video. So, and that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.